This is for the lap on the metric system. And what we're looking at is my original lap sheet that I hand to students, or that students have to buy at the bookstore, for my regular face-to-face -face classes. Of course, you are in an online class, and rather than me trying to adapt this here, uh, what I use it for is as a lab guideline, meaning that when you come across something that doesn't make sense to you because you're not in a classroom, overlook that, do something else. That's also why you will find these kind of posted twice. You will find these as what I call the lab guidelines, and then you will find this one here as what I call the lab assignments and this one is actually the one you have to hand in. Notice that this kind of looks similar. Here you actually have to fill in the data. But yet there are few differences where I then explain well do this instead. So for example the first one here says Estimate the distance between your car and the classroom and feet. Measure the distance from your car to the classroom. Well, you're not in the classroom. How far is the college from your house in miles, in kilometers? Well, you don't go to the college for this class. So, the way I adapted it is, instead of the classroom, use the location where you are. Instead of the college, use your workplace. And then I really don't have to show you here how to um, measure the distance um, you don't have to watch me how I walk and um, take a meter stick or a measuring tape or pace it. Um, I think you can do that without watching me. On the next one, on the original lab sheet, I'm saying that I'm supplying you uh, with something and, and here you measure them. Instead you go to my website and you kind of estimate where Jupiter is and that's then how you fill it in and notice here insert the image that you had copied with the plotted Jupiter positions right here so you copy the image and you can do this on the computer that should, each computer should have a graphics program where you can plot certain things in it okay um, this one here so area square meters instead of the upstairs hallway use another oddly shaped room any kind of parking lot any rectangular room the mass determine the mass of your book bag I would assume that you have a scale and you do that in pounds and then you convert it to kilograms use any envelopes again this only makes sense if you read through the lab sheet first and adapt it so and then here you're supposed to convert metric 100 grams for a cookie recipe to the US system in ounces and then yeah definitely email me a cookie in any time in any room and again you would have to go back to the original lab sheet that says how long does it take you to walk from your classroom to the library how long do you need to drive to the college and again you adapt it yourself the last one on here for example says errors number six but notice that's actually missing on the lab assignment so you don't do that part as I said the lab assignment itself is the ultimate thing to do to, to hand in and you look at the lab sheet first and follow the guidelines there and they're adapted here in the lab assignment. Sometimes I cut certain things, sometimes I add certain things, so look out for that. You have to look at both documents. Here's a quick intro to what to do with this image of Sagittarius and Jupiter. Originally that's actually used for determining how much a millimeter is and, and measuring accurately, but here we're just going to look at uh, plotting the positions. So you go to this link and it gets you here actually to my own website. 
and you copy this image right here that's what it says in the instructions and when I do that I can put it in paint every computer should have that program and part of the constellation of Sagittarius look, looks like a teapot that you're holding in your left hand here's the handle and you're pouring out of the spout and here's the tip and then here's the body of the teapot there's also what's called a teaspoon that is always to the upper left of the teapot's handle now let's look at some photos click on the first batch here and you see the handle right here you see the spout you see the tip and here's the teaspoon and for example Jupiter is the bright one just to the lower left of this kind of third star here after the bend in the teaspoon and down here it's kind of to the second star in the band just a little bit below so I'm gonna go back to the drawing so I would say that Jupiter on May 13th is about there and on June 10th whoops, was about here and that's basically what you have to do and then when you're done well you paste this image into the lab assignment and send it along